All right, everybody. Well, how's everybody doing this evening? Uh, welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And uh, this evening, I've got something a little different to do here. I um, haven't been catching many fish lately, but uh, I've had some people ask me about the uh, crank wraps, wraps that I've been using and how you put them on and how they work and all that. So uh, I thought I'd try to do a video about that. So uh, here I've got a uh sexy shad colored uh strike king uh this is a half ounce strike king red eye shad and uh so i'm gonna start with that one and uh here are the crank wraps they come in that pack there's enough to do two lures in it and uh so we'll go ahead and get started and that there's what they look like and basically all you do it's just a uh, really strong sticker so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get this side ready if i can get my fingernails or lack of fingernails to work this is the hardest part trying to get them off of the backing all right here we go and finally all right got that side and basically all you do you got the hole for the eye and what you want to do is line that up that eye hole with the eye that is on the lure so basically get that eye hole centered and then you line it up from belly to back like so and then once you have it on there then you can start to press it in place and you want to start with your fingers move it out smooth it out toward the edges and uh, i'm not real good at this yet i haven't done it very many times i still end up with a, a wrinkle or two along the edge and of course uh, be careful with the hooks and secure and sexy shad has now become gizzard shad and it says in the instructions if you need to you can uh, use a little heat to uh, a heat source to try to ouch get the wrinkles out of it so uh i got a hair dryer here heat helps to smooth the wrinkles out
And that looks better than it did. And uh, see, we got gizzard shad, sexy shad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side. <coughs> Peel that side off. Like I said, there is your hole for the eye. You line that up with the eye that's on your lure. Like so. You got the eye lined up now. And then go ahead and press it and smooth it out. Hmm, ouch. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and heat it a little bit. Like I said, it probably would be better if I took the hooks off, but I just wanted to show you all how this works. So now, here is that side. Sexy Shad is now Gizzard Shad. There's that side and that side. Alright, that one's finished. I'm going to go ahead and do one more. So, uh, I have uh, one set of uh, black crappie left. So, I'm going to go ahead and do this one up in uh, black crappie. And you can see this one is chrome sexy shad and I'm gonna turn it into black crappie and again trying to get my fingernails to work Go ahead and get rid of that part. Okay. There, once again, you have the hole for the eye. And you're going to line it up.
get it lined up on the eye. You get the contours of the back and the belly lined up. So then, there's what you have. And then, work from the center out. Get it good and smooth. Press it on there really good. These things stay on good too. I've I've fished with these in water as cold as 38 degrees and haven't had an issue with them peeling off. So I'm really satisfied with them. I haven't been using these things really long, but I have caught a couple fish on a black crappie one so far this year. Back on January the 3rd. So these things do work. They'll catch fish. No doubt. All right, I'm going to go ahead and heat it up a little bit. Get some of these little wrinkles smoothed out. There's one side done, black crappie, chrome sexy shad, and we'll go ahead and finish this one up, and we'll be done. Line, there's your eye hole, you line it up. And like I said, you make sure that you have the top of the back and the belly lined up right. And then press it on, smooth it out. Start in the middle and work toward the top and bottom. I got that one to go on with no wrinkles. I'm getting a little bit better at this. And heat it up again. And there you have it. Finished. So we had Sexy Shad and Chrome Sexy Shad. Now we have Gizzard Shad and Black Crappie. So that is how you apply these crank wraps to your baits. And they make them for jerk baits and square bills and deep divers and shallow divers. They make them for everything. 
like I said, they're called crank wraps. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty handy for changing a paint job. If you've got lures that's got damaged paint, you don't want to, uh, if you don't want to send them off and get painted, you can put these on them. And, like I said, they work really good. I've caught, I've caught a couple fish already this year on the black crappie ones. So, uh, that's how that works. That's how you apply them. Um, I hope y'all like this video. Um, like I said, if y'all's new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a like, subscribe, uh, maybe give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you think, and uh, I'll try to get another video done as soon as you can, as soon as I can, rather. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching.